to this second annual celebration of Darwin's birthday. Now, I realize that Darwin's birthday is not exactly a traditional holiday in most churches, even most UU churches, but it works for me. It particularly works because it matches with our monthly theme of gifts of the earth. But I have to say, I love evolution. I think evolution is thrilling and fabulous. And I know that not everybody feels the same way. Not only is there the ongoing and, if you ask me, a little bit silly debate about evolution versus a literal interpretation of the Bible that the world was created in seven actual days, but there are genuine concerns that Darwinism has been applied in the form of social Darwinism, which basically declared that the people who were on top, who were the richest and the most powerful, were there because they were the fittest, that evolution proved that this sort of dominance was natural and correct, and evolution has been used as an excuse or an explanation for really horrible things from racism to eugenics. But the thing is that that social Darwinism isn't based in an actual understanding of evolutionary theory, because it implies that there is such a thing as on top. And the reality is that there is no pinnacle of evolution. Evolution is not trying to get somewhere in particular. Evolutionary success is being the best adapted that you can be to the particular location where you are. Which is to say that the best you can do at adaptation is to be as effectively in relationship with everything around you as possible. Human beings aren't the top of the evolutionary scale. There is no top of the evolutionary scale. So, in addition to there being no top evolved place for humans in society, humans aren't the top of evolution to begin with. We have amazing intelligence and we have done amazing things with it, but other beings do different amazing things. There are birds that navigate by the magnetic pull of the earth. There are creatures that can survive at near absolute zero. There are beings that can locate things in great detail using sonar. There are beings that can use their body as a stun gun. Try that. None of those things is the peak or the top of the pinnacle of evolution. Those are all ways of surviving and thriving in the particular location and with the particular needs of that particular being. And I love that. Evolution is about relationship, about being the best you can be in the web of where you are. It's not about the individual, except, of course, that it is. Genetic mutation, the engine that drives all of evolution, happens being by being. It's just that you don't know, often for generations, what the effect of a particular mutation is going to be. So it is all about the individual, but it's about the individual as it relates to the location where it is. And the point about mutation is another thing that I love. It turns out that all of evolution, all of our diversity and beauty and adaptation and ability to cope with change comes from mistakes. A mutation is a flaw in the genetic code. 
that makes something different. Sometimes it makes something worse, sometimes it makes something better. But no change happens without mistakes. If the genetic code were perfect, there would be no variety, there would be no interest. All interest and all diversity comes out of mistakes. There are other things that I love about evolution that are a little less comfortable, a little less fun, but yet oddly moving. For instance, death is just as much a part of the package as birth. It isn't a punishment for bad behavior, it isn't a flaw in the design, it's just part of how everything works. Everything that is born dies, everything eats, and everything gets eaten, if only by microbes after you're dead. It's all interwoven, it's all part of the same thing. And though we don't care for it on an individual basis, I find it somehow comforting to know that my death the death of beings and people I love, is all just as it's supposed to be. All an essential part of what make things work. Which leads to one more painful and beautiful fact about evolution, which is that life goes on. Life adapts. And the greatest rate of change happens in the situations that are the most difficult. If dinosaurs hadn't been wiped out in a great cataclysm, we mammals might very well not be here today. On an individual basis, that is terrible and terrifying and brutal. And yet, I love the fact that life goes on in ways that we couldn't necessarily have imagined. And that the points of the greatest stress, the greatest trouble, the greatest loss, are the times when you see an explosion of new kinds of life. What we can imagine is not all that there is. The points of struggle are the points where the greatest creativity happens. I love that. And so, let us have a cheer, a celebration for Darwin and for evolution and for this crazy, mixed up, ever-changing, diverse, beautiful world that we have the privilege to be a part of.